Once, long ago, there lived a very spoilt prince. He had everything that money could buy. He lived in a splendid palace, surrounded by beautiful gardens. He ate off the best china and wore robes spun out of the finest gold thread. And a hundred servants carried out his every wish. Do you know the way out of the Gloombergs? I asked. I'd hardly be flitting around these stuffy caves if I did, the puff of wind replied. I'd be wafting over the mountains and seas with my brothers and sisters. I'd be propelling the clouds across the sky or brewing up a tremendous storm. I'd be doing something useful. You look bold in black. The only thing I didn't like was your face. Too white the face. Stuck between your black helmet and your black hair and your black motoring jacket. Kind of aghast. Blatantly vulnerable, veering towards pitfall. Of course, you weren't cut out to be a motorbikist. Went against your nature. I never understood what you were getting at. They are amazed and excited by what they see. They're looking at the Bible. The ancient and special book of Christians and in what is known as the Old Testament, the special books of the Jewish people also. Why on earth were they so excited by a Bible? You can go into any bookshop today and buy all sorts of different versions. Before this, the Bible was only in the old languages of Latin and ancient Greek. <laughs> These five children could have autism. It appears at random and there is no known cure. With our support, children with autism become adults with a brighter future. At the moment, we can only reach James. But with your donations, we can start helping them all. <laughs>